This is Chicago's very own WGN Midday News. He is a futurist, strategist, and an author. David Toole is here to tell us about his new book, The Shift Age. You're also a Chicagoan, which is That's always exactly nice to have right. local folks here, but you say it took you forever in this weather to yeah, get here. three inches of snow in the last hour and a half. But, yeah. <laughs> the, the book is so interesting. It's, it, it's a look at maybe how the past is impacting our future, but, but a look ahead nonetheless. Right, exactly right. You talk about the last 20 years as being perhaps the most significant, or at least when we look back on this, we're going to see this as the most significant time. But why? Uh, well, I call it the threshold decades because it's the threshold between what was and what will be between the past and the future. And all the dynamics that are really changing the world today uh, started to take root in this 20-year period. The Internet, cell phones, accelerating global connectedness, the globalization of the economy all started in that 20-year period. You even have some charts in here that to me are astounding to see the numbers, the difference in the amount of people who are using the Internet, who are using cellular technology. Oh yeah, in, in 1985 there were 700,000 cell phone subscribers in the world. 20 years later in 2005 there were 2 billion. And just as recently as last year, in 2006, they said there'd be 3 billion in 2010, and we reached 3 billion this first quarter of this year, which means that in the last 24 months, there's been 1.5 million new cell phone subscribers a day on the planet. I mean, that's just transformative. Absolutely. Yeah. Looking ahead, you know, this was published in 2007, yet you talk about some of the financial struggles that are ahead for us, and, and right. right now we are certainly all feeling it. But yet, you write with a sense of hope for the future. Absolutely. What, what is going on right now is a transition between two ages, between the information age and the shift age. And if you think about the 1970s, it was very disruptive, and that was the decade between the, the industrial age and the information age. So we're, and economics happens first. So what really is going, we're moving into is the global stage of human evolution. And so the global aspect of the finance is leading the way. I mean, obviously this is a global financial meltdown. It's not just an American or a European one. Yet, zooming in, you talk about how individuals can make such a difference. Well, that's right. I mean, we have more choice as individuals than we've ever had before. If you think back 20 years, you were just in, gra in grade school, you, it, the choices that you have now are much more varied and there's more brands of toothpaste, there's more television stations, there's more internet, there's more phone numbers we have to remember and as you have more choice the power moves to the individual from the producer. You know, five, when I was growing up in Chicago and WGN was one of five channels that came into my home, right, now it's one of 300, sure. right? The other thing is the accelerated global connectedness means that you can be anywhere in the world and you can access the station, you can access your loved ones. So that, that disassociation from needing to be in a specific place in a specific time has empowered individuals. And also the need for that entrepreneurial spirit. One of the sections in here talks about how it's made in China. And I remember my kids saying that to me once. They looked at something and said, Mom, everything's made in China. Well, that's a damaged brand right now, right? I mean, you know, toys, lead-based toys, milk So then there'll be a infants. shift back, perhaps. Right, exactly. I just wrote a column. In fact, I put it up in my blog, evolutionshift.com, uh, last night, saying China's going to have a rough road ahead for the next couple of years because they've you know a lot of children have died with the knowledge of the government uh, they're starting to uh, block the websites that they'd opened up and now of course with the whole uh, world economy dropping people aren't buying their goods anymore and their whole business is based on export such an interesting look at look at the future it's called the shift age david hole thanks so much for it's being my here my pleasure we to really be here. appreciate Thank it you. so nice to have met you. you and we will be right back